What's up guys, Dex Pollution here, and this is mission number 15, Tonal Rat. So up first, when you start out, you want to head the path that I'm going, which is this way right here. Now this guard can be uh, tricky, but if you follow the method that I do, you should be able to get past him without any type of problems. I want to point out, if you're doing this mission for the first time, you are going to have to take out in the last section the guards with whatever weapon you have if you don't have the uh, silence pistol then the last section is going to be probably the hardest part for you but up front here all you need is the fiber wire to take out the first guard up ahead here don't worry about anybody finding his body as nobody ever finds him at all so it really doesn't matter The reason why I say that he is one of the toughest people to take out is because he, his pattern is different. He could be running around that this area. He patrols this area here, which is the compound which you want to get into. Now you have to take his disguise. You don't have to take his weapon, by the way, but you do need his disguise. If you do get in here without your disguise, guards will call for reinforcements and you'll pretty much be uh taken out by the way so as there's a guard right there patrolling and there's another guard he just turned around uh this level's a little tricky when it comes to disguises as most of the guards in this level can obviously tell that you're not a part of their outfit or their crew or whatever it is it's, it's a little bit more complicated uh to get past some of them so this took me quite a few times, but I mean, the last section is probably the hardest section throughout this entire uh, mission for Tunnel Rat. So you just want to take your time with it. Sometimes the other guard will meet up with him and sometimes he won't. If he doesn't, just follow what I do here and get behind this wall. Wait for him to pass you and then you should be able to get past... Um, this next section this next guard is actually kind of tricky so but uh what makes it tricky is getting in here and taking out the lieutenant which is our target now he's easy to take out once you get in here so just wait for this guard to do his thing and then he will actually turn around and start walking that way as you can see you want to hurry up and get in here a little bit faster you don't have to run but you want to hurry up and get in here uh, you don't have to grab the anesthetic unless, of course, you're trying to go through the next couple of missions and take out your targets without the anesthetic, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, just grab your fiber wire out and then just take out the lieutenant here. And um, It's actually kind of funny when you take him out because you're basically fiber wiring air. He, you don't even have a hold of him. He's pretty much already fallen. Now sometimes his body can disappear if that happens don't worry about it um he has a d eagle weapon you can pick up which i've already done because i've already done this mission prior to recording this commentary now here i thought okay i'm good to go and boom if you don't get down fast enough right there as you can see it went into the red and it stayed in the wet red luckily they didn't start shooting but i decided i had a little trouble with the controls here but just keep going um, it used to be uh, fine. So yeah, that's about the trickiest part right there. And the rest of the section, you can just pretty much run all the way through. It ain't no big deal. Um, yeah, when you're coming out that door, you might want to look through the uh, keyhole and see if that guard is actually there. Don't run up here because if you don't see that guard, he'll start shooting at you. So there is a guard right behind that those crates or whatever when you get up from getting out of the water. Um, so this section is pretty much done. Uh, the last section, I pretty much found a way to take them out with relative, not too much of a, a problem for you guys. Like I said, if you don't have the silence pistol, the section might be a little bit harder for you, but you can complete it. So I have the silence pistol, so that's how I'm going to complete this next section. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. In case you're wondering, the two highest ratings you can get on this actual mission is Professional and Silent Assassin. 
Nice work, 47. Secure the perimeter at ground level in case any soldiers have turned up. Alright, so you have these two guards up here. There are actual guards that do patrol this area. So as you can see, I start running here and the red meter just starts to go crazy right here. But luckily nobody shoots at me. So if it does that, don't be too concerned. Uh, I didn't see any guards around. However, I ran around this section because you want to take this other guard out. Because if you take out that guard there, he could possibly see that. And then it'll ruin and a whole bunch of other guards will pretty much be alerted. And it'll kind of ruin your rating depending on what type of rating you're go going for. But I end up getting professional in this rating. So like I said, um, it's just about finding the easiest method to take out these guys. And right there he is. So, you just need to wait for him to turn around. Sometimes I turn around at that wall right there, but uh, he keeps walking in my direction. So, basically, I'm going to take him out and then you should be good to go. Uh, wait for him to turn around and then you should be able to get the shot on him, which is... You want to make sure he's not looking in your direction because then I'll make a turn around and then if he ends up shooting you, you know, that's pretty much that. So luckily I got him just before he actually turned around. Uh, you want to run back this way and take out the other guard. Now he's actually moving, so his pattern does waver back and forth. But um, you should be able to take him out with lots of ease. He does spot me up here, but um, I was able to take him out, so he really didn't cause any damage. And once you take him out, it's pretty much a done deal. So okay, so now I'm thinking I can take him out right here. He's turned around, no big deal. Uh, get in the first person view and you have a better chance of aiming but see as you can see he sees me but it doesn't matter as able to take him out so at the end of this mission i got professional there's other two ways you can get this mission done which would be silent assassin and professional silent assassin is going to take you longer to do if you're going with just fiber wire throughout the entire mission so hopefully i was able to help you out guys out with this mission and i'll see you on the next mission What's up guys, Solution here, and we are continuing on with our Hitman 2 Silent Assassin. Mission number 16, Temple, City, Ambush. Now this mission is actually pretty easy. Um, there's a couple of things that you're going to have to watch out for. Uh, as you can see, I keep opening the map here, as because this is a big map for a mission. This is probably one of the biggest maps in this entire mission here, in this entire game. But you want to go meet the agency contact guy here who we, you know, conveniently saved in, like, the fourth or third mission of this game. Who's there? But, uh, he's basically going to tell you that some uh, assassins are after him and everything else. Now, there's a sat an assassin on the top here with a sniper rifle, which you'll see here. He's right there. Um, and then you'll get a thing. It's a suspicious person in the market area. Now, basically, what you have to do for this mission is you just have to take out the sniper right here which is actually pretty easy they're both pretty easy to take out but uh there's an actual i guess three assassins that you technically have to worry about here one of them you're going to see come walking up here in a second as we snap the photograph of this assassin here with the camera which automatically does it for you and that's it so now i was actually going to uh snipe this assassin but i realized there's obviously a civilian right there and that wouldn't be very good so um he's right there that's the second assassin that you have to take out i was gonna snipe him i was actually looking for the other assassin that i was gonna snipe you'll see him here in a second and uh he's somewhere around here so i was gonna take him out and i was like nah you know what i'm just gonna take him out with the silence pistol um right there's the second asset the third assassin right there he's running toward me with the uh, gun and everything it says an assassin has seen you so when you get that you basically know that this guy's after you um you want to get your silence pistol out and take him out as fast as you can otherwise he's basically going to kill you we are on the professional difficulty so 
three shots or more will actually kill you. Now here's this other assassin. You have to actually bump into him. He almost killed me as you can tell. Get your science pistol out if you're fast enough to make it over here. And just take him out like that. Don't even give him time to shoot or anything like that. So he's actually pretty easy to take out. All you have to do is photograph him. And then basically head back to the uh, agency contact. So he's pretty much done. Um, that's pretty much it for this mission. Mission number 16. So... I continue to try to find my way around here, but as you can see, I get lost a couple of times because this map is so huge. And I haven't really played this mission that much, so... It's hard to know where the agency contact guy is going to be. He can be in different places. Great. You're back and brought both photos. Yep, sure looks like a couple of thugs. We better be going. The entrance is behind one of the other shops. Once inside, you'll have to find and kill the cult leader's personal physician and main propagandist, Von Kamprad, and then on to Hospital Island, where the cult leader is. Alright, so he basically just tells us who's up next, who we have to take out in the next mission. For mission number 17. So, I will stop the recording here, and I will see you guys on the next mission. Um, finding the exit's kind of complicated, but we'll find it, so... Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, walkthrough for this mission and maybe I was able to help you guys get through this mission for some of you that was having a pretty hard time. I know the map is actually kind of big so that's one of the main reasons as to why it's hard to find your way around here. But luckily we will find the exit and uh, I'll see you guys on mission number 17.